Hello you beautiful people and welcome to today's video. It's been a little while since we had one but I'm very very happy you're joining me today because today I want to show you the book I filled for the uh, October Art Challenge. I made the prompts for myself so um, I really hope you don't hear my computer roaring in the background because I'm rendering another video um that's for my wife's channel um so without further ado we'll go into this tour um the stickers you see on this book are made by my friend by friend <laughs> the stickers you see on this book are made by my friend um Sternri. on instagram i'm putting her handle on the screen somewhere so you can look at her beautiful art so I made this book myself actually because I'm getting into bookbinding again after I did it in school. So I got the supplies and I'm occasionally making some books. Uh, yeah, and I decorated them. Uh, this one with Sternre's beautiful stickers. So let's get into this. I worked after my own prompt list and you can find it on my Instagram still. Um, yeah, you can find it on my Instagram still. But I also wrote down the prompts down under this, uh, under the pictures. And what I used for this challenge are the Van Gogh Dusk paints and also this Davies grape. These were sent to me by my by one of my friends uh, a while ago and also I used uh, Stormbringer a paint my wife makes herself and also I used the Pantel pocket brush and of course a pencil to sketch this in an eraser but I did not uh, specify that in the materials so um, the first you will see a shift in tone in these <laughs> during the month and also I have to make a confession um, I did not draw these day by day, I drew them week by week and the last two weeks I think I drew in one weekend or so just because as you may know I started a new job and it was kind of energy uh, eating <laughs> for me even though the job is a lot of fun um, and the environment is a lot of fun. I um, very exhausted when I come home so I drew this on the weekend scanned them in and uploaded it day by day so um, for me also this showed me that I don't really take part in those drawing challenges to draw every day because I do draw every day I made it a habit <laughs> fortunately um, but I really like drawing prompts from time to time so this is really what these challenges are about if some of you may think um, you don't draw the prompts every day so what's the point in even taking part the point is to draw the prompts <laughs> and to have prompts um, I'm drawing so yeah without I'm gonna stop the rambling now and we're gonna start the tour. So this first one is called Calm Before the Storm. Again, the prompts are made by myself so I had it a bit easier um, to come up with something because I already had an idea when I came up with them. Uh, logically, <laughs> kind of, I don't know if it makes sense. So here we have a girl um, standing in front of a thunderstorm that's approaching her. That's because it's calm over here before this storm approaches. I don't know if it comes across the way I intended it. So yeah. Day two we have ghost talk and here we have a guy and he is um, approached by these ghostly gentlemen and ladies and um, they're talking to him and he's a bit distressed about it. And I don't know if you can see that, but I colored this in with this Davies Gray and this is quite opaque um, <laughs> on top of the black. Fortunately, when I scanned these in and I did a little color correction, color correction um, it did not show in the original post that I made from these 
but it shows when you uh, look through the book so yeah maybe you will see that too and uh, what I failed to mention is that I bound this book with uh, cheap watercolor paper, so this is heavily coated watercolor paper, but this works great for colors that are granulating, so yeah. I decided to use this book for this uh, purpose. And day three was ritual, so I drew this witch lady dancing in front of some fire, um, making a ritual, I think, I guess. And day four, it's in the walls, so I made this um, kind of creepy looking scene with the eyes that come out of the walls and this person standing in front of it. And yeah, I used a lot of um, hatch, I want to say hatching, but it's not really hatching. I used a lot of uh, texturing with the brush pen to achieve a kind of creepy creepy vibe with these paints, uh, with these eyes I mean, and I used um, Stormbringer to color them in, because I really love this color. <laughs> and day 5 is Too Faced, so I drew this person um, who's not healthy obviously, and there's another face growing out of the back of their head. So. There's that. And I don't really know what to tell you because these are just the things I came up with. Um, yeah. And this is day six, another full moon. I drew a little beach scene. I don't know if this is recognizable as water, but I intended it as a beach scene. Like you come. Ooh. I hit the microphone. Like you're coming to the beach and you see this fella on the beach and then there's the full moon and again I tried to make a little little texture with brush and later I went in with a gel pen and added these stars to the sky and when I finished this I got heavily moomin vibes like there are monsters and creatures in the Moomin series that are kind of like this and I was obsessed with this series as a kid so I do believe that this is where it comes from. Um, subconsciously I was influenced by that. Okay so from this point on um, I think yeah from this point on there's maybe one that's a bit a tiny bit creepy and then it's just goofy and because i just wanted to have fun with the prompts and i just had funny ideas and i drew them um this is day seven heart in a glass this is mephisto the character of my wife who has um kind of uh, named like our cat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's just funny. Um, he's an immortal being and in our little world um, if you destroy the heart of an immortal person you are destroying the immortal person like they die. That's the only way you can make them die. And he has a history of killing other immortals so um, I drew him with this little glass and this mason jar kind of glass and this swirly um, straw and he has a, a, a heart in this glass which is filled with some kind of liquid and a little lemon slice on the on the top and he's drinking out of it because he's disgusting <laughs> and um, yeah I don't know if that's as funny to you as it's funny to me but I know this character so well and I'm like yeah that's what he would do. Day 8 is Wandering Witch and here I drew a witch person, a witch uh, with uh, her crow and a lot of potion bottles and a big backpack and she's saying this same day delivery potion service was a bad idea. Screw that marketing guy, I should curse him. And yeah, it's just... Um, was just a thought that this witch has signed up for making a 
same day delivery potion service um, because the marketing dude told her well it would be a great idea you would be making so much more sales and then we're making you an Instagram page and stuff like that and she's just wow I shouldn't have agreed to that day 9 demon on a leash so I had this story in my head for this um, idea that she that there's a city and there's monsters outside and usually you don't befriend them because they would eat you but she's like she has a connection to this one and she's bringing it home because it's it's just friendly to her and her mother is like wow you're bringing that one back <laughs> you can't keep that one and i kind of like how his um little tail turned out Day 10, don't wake the dead. Um, here it was my original idea to have this person hold some kind of sharp object, but I forgot to outline it, so it's not there now. Um, so now they are just sneaking past these sleeping vampires. I don't know, it's just a little scene I had in my head. Day 11 is Night Terror. <laughs> um, yeah, we have this guy and this guy and he's originally a monster who was supposed to be scaring him. But he's like, hey dude, what's up? How are you doing? And he's like, why aren't you scared of me anymore? And like, they are probably... Um, maybe friends, maybe kind of a couple, I don't know. And this is the only one that is kind kind of drawn in a serious manner. So day 12 is no way back and this little guy is heading towards a dead end because he's running from something scary or dangerous. So that was the idea behind that one. And now we're just going full goof mode. Um, day 13 is Serpent. And this witch is in the supermarket with her snake and... She forgot to put something on the grocery list and the snake is like, it's probably mice. And yeah, <laughs> that's the whole premise of this. I really like um, these two, like, this is probably her familiar and um, yeah. Okay, so day 14, hush now. So I had several ideas for the background of this one not the background but the background story um at first i thought maybe she's like his girlfriend and she turned into this monster but they're still like together because he don't know how to end this relationship and it's kind of complicated and she just makes very good scrambled eggs in the morning and bacon and stuff so he kind of still likes her she's just a bit creepy you know and then the next idea was that she is this um, evil demon entity that has sneaked into his apartment and now she thinks she is his girlfriend and he's just like trying to tell her no we're just I don't know you're just a parasite living in this apartment you're not even paying rent um, but yeah one of these ideas um, it was it's kind of creepy, but kind of funny, you have to admit. Okay. Oh, this is what also I forgot about this one. Um, yeah, it's a bit creepy, a bit sad though. Um, 15, Whispering Waters. Uh, this is this dude um, reaching into the water where one of the mermaids is gonna... Probably gonna drag him into the dark waters and drown him. Day 16, a rotting realm. So, I'm really proud of this one. I'm really proud of how this giant king turned out and how his uh, skeletal face turned out. And I imagine this uh, to be like an adventurer party, like they are going out to get this MacGuffin, that's probably his crown. And this girl is like, so guys, how do we get the crown from his head now? So she's, uh, this is like a very creepy scene. And she's just like, well, it's a crown. Let's, let's just try to take it down, the crown. And day 17, 
Riddle of a Dead Man. So at first I thought about something epic, something like a door is blocked by a monster or like a zombie and maybe there's a necromancer and it's kind of you know, fantasy. And then I thought, what about I'm drawing a zombie who's solving crosswords in the subway. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. And this is also kind of on the serious side. Um, day 18, Ice in the Trees. Um, but yeah, not really though. There's just this stalker elf looking at this girl who's lost in the woods and looking on her map, so, yeah. And now I may... Um, blah, blah, blah. And now I want to introduce you to my ghost buddies. Yay! Um, so for the rest, except one entry, I think, uh, except one post, one picture, um, the rest of this challenge is just these ghosts. I love them very much um, because I just wanted to have fun and just wanted to draw something funny so because we're all a bit depressed right now I just wanted to make something funny so this is um, this is the one thing that I did and the day 19 prompt is too many doors and this little ghost who's always complaining about something human houses have become so big sometimes it's really hard to find someone to haunt yes this is the whole promise behind this he's just looking in every room and there are so many rooms he just can't find someone to haunt it's very serious business this uh, haunting thing and um, I really like this one and um, the people on Instagram really seem to like it too. Uh, day 20, hands. I have no hands to hold this pumpkin spice latte, but I can wear this tiny hat. Tragic. And yeah, there's just no more to it. He has no hands to hold this. But I mean, he could still float down and sip on it. Day 21, speak no evil. And he just broke a mug and it's like, oh, fiddlesticks. And this is the one I spoke about. This is the only one um, that has no ghost in it from now on. This is day 22, Cursed Creature. And I again thought about something um, creepy and epic and... But then I drew Prescott because he kind of is a cursed creature because he was... Um, another command of this very evil wizard, warlock, whatever you want to call it, for a very long time. And he's not um, allowed to go back to hell and stuff like that. So yeah, he's just like, why am I in this picture? And yeah. Day 23, Hungry Undertaker. And yeah, this is... Just an undertaker and our little ghost friend. Um, man, I'm dying for a burger right now. And he's like, I'm already dead. And yeah, this is such a mood. Such a mood. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm always in for a burger. <laughs> like veggie or usual burger. I, I'm all in for everything. <laughs> and the next one I find particularly funny because I'm a sophisticated person with a sophisticated taste in humor. Um, 24, Strange Encounter. This is just a nightmare scenario, like, when you forget to lock your bathroom door or a bathroom stall door and then someone comes in. That's just nightmare fuel, if you ask me. Personal horror scenarios. Um, Day 25, Ancient Enemies. So again, I th when I came up with this list, I had no idea I would uh, draw these ghosts. But that's the great thing about um, art and challenges. Like, you can come up with something on the spot and it everything changes and that's totally cool. Um, so I drew this little ghost and this vacuum cleaner because I thought maybe he has been almost sucked into vacuum cleaners um, in his existence as a ghost and this, ha this just has traumatized him a bit and yeah that's just um, that's just that 
Day 26, Mind Control Mushroom. And again, the same with this one. I had no idea that I would draw these little ghost guys. So I thought I'm gonna do something very creepy and disgusting. But I just drew this little mushroom that grows on his head. Like it has made um, his way on his head through spores maybe. Um, and he's usually when they like infest people they control them but ghosts have no brains so they can't really stick their little mushroom thingies into something so he's just like ah, it tickles <laughs> so yeah 27 devil in the details so I signed up for a makeover but I didn't read the fine print so he signed up for a makeover and they made him very cute looking and he does not like that because he wants to be a scary ghost yeah bad potion is day 28 and yeah he told him he should not drink this um, potion and it made him like fall flat on the ground because it made him too heavy or something like that I don't know um, you can come up with your own ideas <laughs> if you like it's just what I thought uh, for these. Day 29 is Broom and this little ghost says this year I'm gonna be a witch for Halloween and I find that very cute. And for the background I mixed two of the paints. I think I mixed the violet and the yellow to create this um, grayish se sepia color. And it's just cute. It's just a cute idea I think. Day 30, Necromancer's Promise. And I drew a little necromancer guy who's just an edgy teen who's dabbling in necromancy and um, to not uh, use him as a bedsheet again. <laughs> and oh yeah, here I thought for some reason I these two pages looked like one and I thought, oh, I have one page missing and I need to draw one a prompt on here but it turns out I just just did this <laughs> so yeah this is why there's a prompt here uh, day 31 yay <laughs> um, smoke and mirrors and he's just making a little um, little magic show and he just says I'm a ghost I float without mir smoke and mirrors you know um, yeah but smoke looks pretty cool, so here's the smoke. And this is all there is to it. I drew this kind of in advance and now I'm done. <laughs> and I'm very happy I have done this challenge. I really don't know if I'm gonna do an art challenge in October next year. But never say never, I guess. Um, because it's just fun and I really like to draw prompts and maybe I'm gonna do the drawtober next year but I'm not quite sure I, if I'm gonna do something I'm probably going to do something with prompts from somebody else because it kind of felt a bit like cheating because I just made up the prompts myself I don't know I just I'm, I'm a weird person if you haven't guessed that yet um, yeah, so that's all for today. I hope I entertained you for a bit. And we see each other next time. And until we see each other, please do something that makes you happy. Bye!